Hello and welcome. It's Terry and I am doing an orchid spotlight. And this is on an orchid that I really wasn't expecting. Actually, it's kind of a species spotlight. Although there is a, one of these species is more, well, I don't want to say special, but one of them is in bloom. This is the one that I am really focusing on. Uh, and this genus is Schoenarchus. And this one specifically is Geminata. This one is the other one that I have, which is Junkerfolia. I will put a picture of the flowers of these. These are more like grape, grape clusters that hang down, more like or wisteria that hang down um, and the roots form. This way you can see there's a spent spike there. Whereas you can see there's spikes forming here and then it branches and it is sequentially flowering down the spike as you can see. And those are the flowers. Oops, and let me just took a nose dive. While I hang that up, let me go on over and show you what the book says about it. So we are here. Here we are with Shonarchus, Shon Orcus, and the tribe Sarcanthi, comprises of 25 epiphytic, rarely left lithophytic species from Sri Lanka, India, previously included in Sakaladin. So as we look over here, we have Shon Orcus Gemata or Gemata is a mature epiphytic native from the pulp China, much branched sprays um, with pink flowers, small, I'm sorry, much branched sprays of tiny flowers, uh, flowers in late spring. What I, what I stopped for was I was continuing on up here, I should have, because um, it talks about Sean Orcus, true miniatures, best mounted on slab, um, but it can be in pots, but I've, they're pendant, so they're better on slabs or on mounts. And I mean, it's a warm, medium, medium bright light levels, uh, given medium, medium water all year round. And that's pretty much what these two are, the ones that I have, Junkopolia and Shonoka Schemata. There is no fragrance, but when the plant grows up and matures, if it is grown well, it can be a very floriferous plant with many growths and multiple spikes of flowers both of these. There are other sh uh, Shonorchus that are more true Vanda types that are more miniature, smaller. I don't really care for those. These are more of the style that I really prefer or that I have more success with. But anyway, folks, that is my spotlight video on Shonorchus Gimada, but really specifically on just Shonorchus the Zornarchus genus. Thanks for watching and enjoy orchids.